this is the start of my January 1st. I am, well, I just finished seeing all of my different doctors and nurses and stuff like that. I actually didn't vlog too much of our interactions. There was a lot, actually a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes. Um, I may update you guys periodically um, as I transition back to home um, and answer a few questions that you all may have about the whole process of you know being a NICU mom and all the other good stuff that comes with it but yes you guys so as you all can see I have my bottle here I will be breastfeeding the girls um, right now they are on breast milk but they're on donor breast milk they're not even at the size they are supposed to be at to latch on so um, I do pump every two to three hours as if I was breastfeeding them so I've already started to experience how that lifestyle is going to be with me um, feeding them every two to three hours and when I tell you it is no joke you guys it is no joke a lot of people try to discourage me from breastfeeding they said I wouldn't like it or I get tired of it especially having two babies but I push through because I know health wise it is the best for them so this is my excitement cup um right now i actually do a soothing treatment to my boobs which just consists of me self-massaging and getting out the colostrum which actually comes before your breast milk so the first day i did this i had literally one little teensy drop not even the size of the drop that's over there in the corner like but literally i had one teensy drop pop out and she was so happy um they were gonna you know split it up and give it to both girls but this is what i'm up to and this is only from one boob like i literally just did my right boob and now i'm about to do my left i do think that my milk is coming in my boobs are starting to feel a little bit different i'm actually in a position right now to pump so i don't want to turn the camera around um but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my mommy excitement. Everybody say, I love you, Jaya. You're doing so good. This is her last day of the light. They're also going to be switching um, her oxygen dependency pressure down. She's doing much better. Well, actually, she can breathe on her own just like Journey. So Journey has no tooth or anything in her face. She can breathe on her own. However, you know, when they're premature, they do premature things such as they'll be breathing perfectly fine, but you know, every once in a while their lungs may, you know, have a little, you know, sudden breathing malfunction or they may gas too fast or something like that. Hey, pretty girl. Hey, pretty girl. So she was actually doing it a lot more frequently. That's why they kept her on it. Just so they wouldn't have any, you know, long-term issues. However, um, they said it's looking like she's gotten stronger. So they're going to turn down her pressure today and see how she does. And hopefully, within the next two days, she'll have a tooth off completely like Journey. But we love you. You're a champion. You're so strong. Me and Dad are so proud of you. You are perfect. You are perfect, you guys. She is so perfect and tiny. She's gaining her weight. I just did her swab um, of the colostrum, and they said that I produce so much. So they, I'm doing a swab for both girls. Okay, guys. So here's Journey. She's actually very irritable right now. I think it's because she wants to take this mask off. But her nurse said that she'll unstick it from her hair and her head and stuff once she actually wakes up from nap but yeah i can tell she just went on she keeps tooting her little butt up in the air and up oh, there she goes hey journey hey journey are you waving at mama man they got her incubator all steamed out and stuff Yeah, she wants to take this thing off like yesterday. She had this thing on her cute little hair thingy. And she literally was like not having it. So they finally eventually took it off. But they said she was doing fine until I got there. So I think she just really wants to be able to open and close her eyes to me. 
that's just what my theory is but obviously journey can speak for herself right <laughs> she can speak for herself but um yeah so we'll be um taking this thing off her so y'all hope my mouth doesn't look too dry because i was literally like um, well, I didn't put on any chapstick or any lip gloss on my lips because I wanted to kiss on the girls and stuff and that wouldn't be good. So anyways, today is discharge day, which means we are leaving and it is a very bittersweet moment right now because I'm leaving and the girls are still here, which makes me so very sad. But on a brighter note, like I said, there is a sweet part, and that is we can come back and visit 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So it's actually not that bad. It's just that I'm so used to being here, and the nurses and doctors are so helpful. So they come down with any little information or anything, like they call me, and you know, I can just go up there and then just bring my colostrum really quickly or. You know, I've just had a lot of help and support from this hospital, so I'm really, really happy about that. But at the same time, like I said, I want to be going home with my girls. And I know right now they need to be getting healthier. So, um, and I have to get healthier. They took my staples out today, so I have to continue to heal from that. And I will. And they're still like, well, I don't know what the house looks like. Babe has been going back and forth, you know, doing, you know, whatever he was. I don't know what he was doing, but he was going home and getting the house together, I guess. But, um, yeah, so I'll go back. My mom and everybody are going to come back and help me go through all the girls stuff because I'm on a really high restriction right now. Just like how when I was pregnant and I couldn't lift things and, you know, pull and push things um, over a certain amount of weight. Well, yes, yeah, since I hemorrhaged really, really bad. By the way, I'll talk about that later. But I hemorrhaged really, 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 really bad. So my incision was like much deeper. And yeah, so I am back to being dependent again. But it's okay because anything for my girls and I'm just, I'm just so happy you guys. I'm just so happy holding them. It's just the best thing in the world. I was really like crying so hard. I could not. But the nurses were just like trying to do everything. Like, okay, how about you do this? How about you do that? Like, recommending everything with, um, that I could do so that I wouldn't be as, um, Says it's that way, <laughs> and, it, and it was actually um, helpful. Like I don't know, you have to. These nurses and doctors have to almost love you know your kid as much as you do because their life, your child's life, is in their hands. Any little mistake, any wrong move, like it's on them. They're 100 percent responsible. So. Um, yeah i love my nurses and i love my doctors like they, they were amazing i'm gonna come back up here and bring them gifts i would have had gifts already ready um however <laughs> since i didn't plan on going into labor or anything i didn't bring anything in my bag that was significant for going into delivery but yeah guys i just want to stop and check in i don't know where baby's at he went to he's on the way right here and he'll pull the car around it's taking a little longer but we're trying to go get my medication. It's the new year, so it's really inconvenient that I'm discharged today when everything is like either closed or shutting down earlier because that means like I won't have access to my meds. Okay guys, so it is the end of the night and this is my first meal home. Um, I told you guys, Jeremy hired a chef and it's one of his friends and um he's the same one who cooked for the baby shower as well as the gender reveal and his food is on point so he sent me a menu as soon as i got home and um just had me choose from a selection of stuff for breakfast lunch and dinner um i honestly can't remember what 
this one was i think it's called like chili mac and cheese or something like that and i don't know what this fancy stuff is on the side but it looks really really good so i'm about to eat up um excuse me excuse my whole appearance right now i know i look like craziness i know i keep saying that in every single vlog but i really truly feel like craziness right now because i have just been hysterical it has not been a good transition home um i miss the girls so much and it's just been really really hard on me and babe has had to be strong for me um as well as himself because obviously these are our kids and we both care about being away but um yeah you guys it is just i um uh, right before i left i had a nicu uh i guess like a support person come in because they knew like they knew the discharging of all the patients and stuff so they explain to you like oh you have a baby in the NICU or in my case babies in the NICU so like we have a support group we have this we have that um like please feel free to reach out and when she came to my room to talk to me about it I was like oh of course I'll definitely want to be a part of it and you know ask some questions and come to a few of the um meetings as well but she was just like explaining to me sometimes it just hits certain women um differently <laughs> this is for you and the girls anyway, so. Thank you, babe. Can't leave that out, right? These are my flowers, you guys. Hey, y'all, this was not a publicity stunt <laughs> either. I promise y'all that. Don't worry about what we got going on over here. <laughs> yeah, we're silly. But, um... Yeah, I have a lot of flowers. I think I showed, did I show y'all a clip of my flowers before I left? But babe had already bought me flowers like right before I left for the hospital. Um, it was just, just because flowers and um, they were already downstairs. But I have uh, some more sets of flowers. So I guess that's why he brought those up. Anyways, back to the woman in the NICU. So she just was like, sometimes it hits you really, really hard um, prior to because you mentally start preparing yourself. And some women, it doesn't hit until like they walk in that room and they're saying goodbye um, or see you soon or see you later to their baby or babies and in my case it was as soon as I walked into the room you guys like like I said I loved and I don't want to get emotional I don't want to get emotional no more because I know it's a good thing that they're there but you guys I, I have just really been going through it I've really been going through it because I just I want my girls to be here I want them to be here but I need them to be strong and I just love their nurses like I said before earlier and I didn't really want to vlog too much because I knew I would just be crying the whole vlog um, but I did want to update you guys on the realness of this because you know I ain't never expected most like all my friends they got their babies and they went home and that was a done deal so you know I didn't I, a, a few of my friends got c-section so another part of that is as soon as I got here um, babe got me in the bed and you know got me situated in my um staple area like they took the staples out it started leaking so i was freaking out with it was just a lot with trying to transition back home and then deal with this and i'm like really scared um so me and babe have just like really been trying to mentally digest the whole thing but um it helped because i called the girls nurses and you know they were so excited to tell me their updates and they're doing amazing and you know they don't have to be there for a long time they'll just be there for a good amount of time just to complete their um preparation to be home with us for the rest of our lives which is so necessary but i give it to you people who have been through this before um and just take it from me i'm not saying everybody's going to be as emotional because i'm going to see them tomorrow like babe just keeps telling me babe we're going to see them tomorrow we're going to see them tomorrow so he's brought me their pictures that the hospital took of them their footprints like he's really trying to like he's really been coming here <laughs> every 10 minutes with something else like trying to remind me of them or trying to make me feel because i just i can't stop crying i can't stop crying but i want to be honest with you guys about this experience i know a lot of people on social media they have their babies and then like as soon as they're healed or you know whatever they post their five weeks later or five days later i'm looking great here's my baby and i'm so happy and they're kissing their baby and the world is just complete now but you know a lot of people i don't see the whole okay coming home from the hospital baby's still there but you know and then you know you just worry as a parent 
and honestly truth be told like i'm i'm not worried i know i know they're gonna be good they're strong my girls are strong me and jeremy prayed over them before we left we prayed over them every single time like they're strong mama needs to be strong mama needs to get herself together and i will i will i think i just need to heal a little bit more with my um stuff and i'll be good i'll be good so you guys just keep me in your prayers um keep my girlies in your prayers i love them so much journey and jaya love you so much and i will be waking up in the middle of the night well i gotta pump anyways but i will be waking up calling them and checking in with their nurses that's the beauty of it all i can talk to them or talk get information about them 24 7 and i don't have to worry about it so like i said i'm pretty sure this vlog is so drawn out because the whole vlog is literally me talking about how sad i am and people are like girl we want to hear happiness but you all just gave me some encouragement because i need it i truly i just need some encouragement or for you guys to please comment below and share your nikki story share your um, emotional separations from your kids when you had to leave the hospital and they had to still be there and just stuff like that um and leaving the hospital in the condition that you're on i'm on complete restriction i'm on complete restriction i can't drive i can't i can't like a babe has to help me get in and out of the bed in and out of the bed like i can't even move a certain kind of way and you know for me to get here and then i start leaking blood it's like oh my gosh like i'm already messing up but i called the doctor and she you know assured me everything was okay i go into my doctor tomorrow so they'll give me some updates for you know what i need to do and probably rebandage me or something like that they need to do but you guys i'm just i'm honestly i'm just coming to you guys with my heart on my sleeve i just want to hear some positive encouraging stories from you all because y'all really truly be coming through for me and um this is this has just been a lot this has been a lot it's been very emotional but i'm about to eat my good food it looks amazing like i said and i can definitely get used to having these random like all the dishes that he sent um for me to choose from like they're not like traditional dishes that i would normally cook or babe would normally cook so i was really excited like oh wow let me try this out like we've never made something like this so i'm really excited happy new year jaya happy new year jeremy so up? <laughs> yeah why not yeah. Happy New Year's, thank you. Happy New Year's, everybody. This is how I spent my New Year's, and I wouldn't want it no other way. Oh my God.